Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. This is what we're making today. So can you hear it? It's a shaker as well as a slider. So this is so cute and this one spins. So it depends on what you wanna do with it. Um, but I absolutely love it. So it's not, normally it's bigger for a cake topper and this is too big for, or too, too big for a cupcake topper, too small for a cake topper. Um, but I did it just because I wanted to make sure that what was in my head in theory actually works and it does. So I'm so excited to show you how to do this. Okay, so I want you to see what's on my screen because this was a lot of work um, and I wanna make sure that you understand what it is. So this back, is this thing right here. It's this purple image. It is a doily. It's in images. This is the image number to get it. <clears throat> then what you have is, you have that is the our most back layer. The next thing is this, this pink thing. It's the back of the shaker, okay? So that's the pink. Then what you have is, you then have two foam circles. So, the foam circles, if you're looking at this image, the foam circles is basically building that wall for us to put in all the sequins, okay? So you have the, the back pink is the back of the shaker, your two foam circles, so you're building this wall. Then you pour in the sequins. Then you have your acetate circle, so this. Your acetate circle and the top of this, the slider, they are all the same size, the same shape. Um, so what you have then is you have your acetate circle sitting on top of the circle is the back of the slider, okay? So that, what you have is you have a dime and a mechanical pencil eraser, and then you have this top piece. So the, so the dime is sitting in between the top and the bottom, right? So this sits on top. So let me um, arrange them to the top or send to the front. Shoot, yeah, it's into the front. Okay, so that's sitting like that, okay? So in between is our dime with an eraser that fits in between here. So the dime is bigger than this slit, so it can't get lost. It has the eraser, and then it has this heart junk on top, okay, <laughs> to hold this. All right, so let me just explain now that we have it in our heads, right? So we have the back, our purple is this, it's the doily. Then you have the back of the shaker, which is the pink. You're building your foam circles on top of the back of the shaker. So now you have a foam wall that we're gonna put the sequins inside. Then after you put the sequins inside, you have your acetate circle, and then you have your slider. You have the bottom of the slider, then you have the top of the slider, and that's it. Everything else is extra stuff that we did, right? So here are M um, LOL dolls. The, they are print and cut. Look at the details on that. I absolutely love it. The LOL dolls, because they're um, I print them on my printer, it's on copy paper, which is really thin. So I have them sitting on cardstock. So that way it is stable and they sit straight and they're not going anywhere, see? All right, so hopefully that all makes sense because now that it took it took a while to build it, so I just wanted to make sure that you understand what's going on and what we have here, what we need to build. Okay, um, all right, and then I have the name Charlotte up here, so let me just show you one more time. Make it big, sorry. So you have the name which has an offset, so I did that in Inkscape. Okay, um, I did three. There's three total layers the name, the white offset, and then the purple. Now the purple I ended up, what I did was, I took that last one and I welded it to the circle. And the reason why I did that, and you're gonna wanna do it, is so that it creates a really strong, sturdy cake topper. Everything else sits on top. This, see how, I mean, there's nothing flimsy about this thing. So you wanna make sure that your whole, I didn't have the LOL girls built into the background. Normally I would, but I couldn't decide where to put them. And it's okay because they are light. So, you know, these aren't gonna make your thing fall over or anything like that. Um, but that's why you're gonna wanna weld that. Okay, so I think I'm, I've showed you everything. The
The hearts is from images within design space. The doily is also from design space. You're going to have to pick whatever images, but we're not really here about the images. We're here about how to build the slider and the shaker. Okay. All right. So I hope that you got that. Just rewind if you didn't. <laughs> okay. So it takes a long time to build. So what I would say is once you do this one time, I would save this as um, shaker in general, shaker slider in general, so that every time you want to build this, I would just go back to this, open it up, and then resize it for whatever you need, because it takes a long time to, like I said, build all this stuff. Um, all right, so let's get to it. What I would do is this, um, pound M4178A, I would take that text and you can type it in. I'm just gonna copy it. I'm gonna go to images and it's already in here. So when you search, it's this, okay? So when you insert, let's insert this image and I'll show you what you need to do with it. Um, go ahead and ungroup it. What we end up using was not this piece. We use this piece right here. So all this you can delete. This is this right here, just bigger, okay? So that's the first thing. Um, let's get our hearts. Let's go to images and type in hearts. And let's hope we find it. It was this. Was it this one? Um, yes, it was this one. All right, let's insert it. I'm going to show you what's cool about this, the hearts of this one is that um, there is an offset right here. You can't see it. So all you do is you click on it and there's our background. I made that and I made it solid because I want it to shine through. So this is already selected. Go to contour and hide all. And that's going to give you the outline and the inside of the circle. So if you can see, I'm going to make it really big for a second. Um, I wanted it to shine through and just, and I wanted this whole thing to be really stable and sturdy. So because it needs to move and it needs to hold onto the dime. So I wanted to make sure this was not flimsy. So it has the back, right? So it has, look at how many layers as the black, um, which was in this case purple. And then we had this, all three cut out, but this purple layer is on top. So make it whatever colors that you want it to, but that's that's basically our, um, our slider, okay? So that's our piece. Then the next thing I did was bring in a circle. Now, if you notice, nothing is sized right now, right? I brought this in. It's really not the right size, but let's bring this. Um, I'm going to move, move it to a cleaner spot. So we have those two and we have this. Okay. So let's bring this down so we can see. Okay. Um, all right, so let's make this a little bit bigger now that we're working with just this, okay? So I did that. Then I kind of just looked to see, now I'm not worried about this being six inches or whatever. I just want to build this thing and in the end we will adjust everything to the right size. Um, but right now it should just be proportionate to one another. So this is the back of our shaker, right? So let's duplicate it because that's kind of an offset. Then I did, this is our top layer, okay? So this is gonna be our slider top and bottom and our acetate circle. So as long as it's okay with uh, in relation to these two items, then we have this piece. So what you wanna do is you basically want to duplicate it. This is our acetate circle, okay? So the sheet, um, this is, going to be this right here. So you can see we cut out another circle, right? So I think what I did was I built these two next. So 
what you want to do is you want to get this is where it gets complicated okay so this is our yeah this is already the right size it's our acetate it's also our slider right so now what i want to do is let's grab this and this and duplicate it and right now we're going to mess around with we know that this is um We want to, this is going to be our foam, okay? So this right here is, like I said, the back of our shaker, right? This is our acetate paper. So we need our foam to be smaller than that, okay? So that's our acetate. Let's duplicate this and make it even smaller, okay? So that's going to be our foam. Then what I do is just grab all three items and go to align and we're going to center it perfectly okay all right so this is our slider our acetate and our foam so our foam we need one more circle right because we just want the frame so we like that size and we're going to make it smaller Okay, so now we're going to grab our top two layers. We're going to bring it over here. This is going to be our foam. We're going to align it, center, and then slice. So here's our foam, and we want two of them, okay? So I'm going to change this to our foam, which was, I used the yellow. Oops, let's grab both of them. Okay, and with the foam sheet I bought through Michaels, um, it cut with the rotary blade on my maker and it cut perfectly. So this, it cut this size, it was fine. Okay, so here's our foam. So let's, let's grab these two and let's just group it so that we know. So it's gonna sit like this, right? So now we wanna make sure that our um, acetate circle, or our acetate is full, right? We're good with that, it's th the single sheet. But we need to make our slider have a hole in it. So what you wanna do is our slider is gonna be smaller than this, okay? So let's, we can take one of these and make it a little bit smaller. Do we want it smaller? We want our foam, yeah. Because we don't want to see our foam at all. So let's say you make it like this, okay? So we'll move our foam out of the way. We're gonna grab these two, we're gonna align it, and then we're gonna slice it. Okay, so we'll get rid of this. We don't need this. So this is the bottom. Okay, so let me make these the right colors that you were seeing before. So this was pink. This was the back of our shaker. Here's our foam that goes on top, okay? Then we're gonna have our acetate paper on top. Okay, then we're gonna have the back of our slider here, okay? And it's you're gonna see through it, we need a copy of this, because that's gonna be the top of our slider, and then we gotta create that little slit, okay? The way I did the slit is I went to text, and I did I love glitter. I love this spot from Defont. And this is the square bracket. It's to the right of the letter P, okay? And it's going to give us this little guy. So make it bigger. So you can kind of see I use this shape right here. So let's make this one a little bit lighter so we can see it in comparison. Uh, let's make it a light blue. Okay, oops. Didn't mean to grab my face, sorry. Okay. And I basically did this. 
grab this guy and I liked, I think what I did was I unlocked it, kind of, whoops, and bent it to get to kind of like my C. So I did it like this. Right, so I kind of, it was a better shape earlier. It kind of fit more. So I liked it up to here. So let's take, um, let's take this because we don't, oh no, you know what? Let's take a square. <laughs> I'm all over the place. I just made this today. Okay, so let's slice out this piece. Okay, we liked it up to here. So let's take the square, hit the shift key, grab our little glyph and slice. So we like that piece, right? So let's get rid of this. And this, and this. Okay. I duplicated this. Then flip. We're going to flip vertically. So it's right on top. So it's kind of like this. But I made it more... It's not really a good shape, but let's weld it. So it was like this. Okay, let's grab those two and slice it. So this is why I want my friend to design it. When I did it earlier, it was much more smooth but it's okay because it's just on the inside your slider is going to move fine so the slider the top of the slider the back of the slider and the acetate are all the same size okay so this is how it's basically sitting so this way you don't see the foam at all okay that's it and then here's the back of it Okay, so this is too big. Um, hold on. Oh, we need this. Hold on, what do we have here? Oh, we already have it. Okay, so that's the back of our slider. Yep, we have all our pieces right here. So I would make this smaller. Okay, then all you do is you grab all these pieces, align, center just for us visually to see it okay so we've built our circle then this guy over here let's bring this to the front this is the little piece so obviously it's too big okay so it's going to slide up and down like this we have all our sequence in this box now the name so i'm going to go to font lab pad and I typed in Charlotte. I love this because it connects all my letters for me, okay? Um, and you can change to your other fonts, for instance. Right, it's so awesome. So let's go back to the one that I use. I did use Feeling Sweet, and I believe this is, hmm, I think it was from Defont, okay? So I liked it because it was thick. So you save it. Save as, I already saved it. Go into Inkscape. I'm gonna erase this and just redo it for you guys. Okay, so you wanna import it and it was Charlotte Feeling Sweet. So here's the name, it's locked because I wanna make it big so you guys can see it. So here it is, right? And it's right now selected. So take your cursor, hit somewhere in the empty space so nothing selected. Go over to our panel Click on the paint bucket, click on any color. We're gonna grow this by 20 and just click on it. Beautiful offset, right? Click on the arrow, click on the empty white space, paint bucket, click on a different color. We're gonna grow this by 40 and click on it. And there's our other offset. Don't worry about this little guy over here. Click on the arrow, grab everything. Go to path, object to path, and then file, save as. And I already saved this as uh, Charlotte Feeling Sweet Offset. So then you go into design space and you're gonna upload it. 
upload your image, browse, you find it. I've already, in, I've already um, uh, brought it into Design Space, but that's how you would bring it in. So when I go, I'm just gonna go to upload again. Here's my Charlotte, I'm gonna insert the image and I'll show you what I did. Um, all right, so where's my... Uh, it's here somewhere, where is it? Oh, okay, so it's not showing because it's negative value, so just do five and it should pop up in the corner somewhere. There it is. Okay, so let's bring this down to the bottom. Whoops. And let's get rid of all these shapes that we don't need. Okay, so here's Charlotte. And let's size it to this. If you like the way this is, then you can leave it. Just know that this is the offset, right? Or you can make it a little bit smaller. Let's just make it a little bit smaller, okay? Let's ungroup it. So here's our back, back layer, okay? I'm gonna go to contour and I'm gonna get rid of that little circle right there. And I also got rid of the C. So you can see Charlotte, it's totally closed in. So I'm gonna get, oops. I'm just gonna click hide all. It's just gonna leave me that. So there's my backmost layer, right? I'm just gonna move it there. Here's my middle layer, which is white. So I'm gonna change that to white just so that we can keep track. And my white layer, I did have all these little things. I don't think I had the O in there though. So let's go to contour and just get rid of that little circle right there because no one's gonna notice it. Okay, so here's that layer. I'm gonna arrange, send to the front. Then this one's our topmost layer, arrange, send to the front, just so that we know. Um, I'm gonna weld it, so it's all one piece, and it is a light purple. So I'm gonna click on this and do light purple. Okay, so now we have these two. Now I'm gonna take this, put it where I want it, and then I'm gonna grab the back layer, okay? and a line i want to center it horizontally so it's lined up then i'm gonna weld it this is my backmost layer okay i'm gonna arrange send to the back and i'm gonna make it my dark purple okay so you see it's starting to come together right here's our pink and then this is a different pink so let me change that to a different pink and maybe a darker pink. Oops, no. I need to change that to a lighter pink. There, so now it kind of matches. Here's our purple, our light pink, and that top layer. Now, the, these two, I'm going to align center. And I'm just gonna group it for now so that it moves together. And so you see there's Charlotte, right? We have our, everything's coming into place. The only thing we have left are the LOL dolls. So if you have PNG files, you can just do that. Um, you need to clean it up. What I would do is whatever print and cut, I would just take a square. So here's our print and cut, and you know it's print and cut because it says right here, cut print. So I would make this square big enough to contain those two and uh, the doll grab the two items and slice and this is going to be the back of the cardstock this is going to be in cardstock she's going to sit on top of it and that's it okay so those are your three layers I'm trying to think if there's anything else i think that's it let's go to the make it screen um I'm gonna delete all the extra stuff, okay? So you don't wanna do this. I just wanna show you what it looks like. I'm gonna get rid of my text. And there's gonna be duplicates of some things. 
I don't really care about that. <laughs> I just want to show you what the cut and print looks like. So you're going to have this right here and you're going to click continue and you're going to send to printer. It's going to print. You're going to pick it up after it prints. Okay. Um, you want bleed on, you want one copy, you're going to click on print. It's going to print. Once you take it out, then once I connect it to a machine, then I'm going to say I've already printed and then I'm going to select the material it's going to be cut on. That's when you send it to your Cricut and it's going to cut all the way around and it's going to cut beautifully. All those details. All right. I think we did it. Okay. <laughs> Let me know in comments if you do it. I want to see your project, but I am seriously in love with this thing. I think it's so stinking cute. Let me make it bigger so you can see it one last time. Um, this, you know, like I said, it moves. You can hear it. The other thing is all those little hearts from here. I took them and I stuck it in the sequins. Um, I glued it to the middle because as you're aware with a shaker, when you're not shaking it, everything kind of falls down. So I put some, I, I uh, glued it so that there's always something in the center. All right. I will post the video of the putting it together and it should all make sense. All right. Bye guys. <laughs>